they had like a scarf on top of their uh, jacket and then there was a gun under their scarf. Rahman Sultani will never forget the men who came looking for him in his home village in Afghanistan more than a decade ago. We're hiding the former Canadian military interpreter's face to protect his identity. The Taliban already have his name. My father like got silent for a moment and he said, you're leaving tonight, Rahman. Sultani wound up in Toronto through a special immigration program for Afghan employees of the Canadian government. Similar measures were put in place for their families after the Taliban took over last year. But they've been no help to Sultani's loved ones. Thirteen family members are stranded in Afghanistan and scared. And I told them to stay low profile and go like leave the house and go to somewhere else. Advice his brother took seriously, destroying any evidence of Sultani's time with the Canadian forces. He spoke to us from New Kabul. They reached and they checked the entire flat of us and unfortunately we were not there. The Canadian government did fly some Afghans out of Kabul last August, but because it has no diplomatic relationship with the Taliban, cannot land planes there now. Most of the 11,000 Afghans who have come to Canada first made it to surrounding countries. Some experts say Ottawa can start talks with the Taliban without granting them legitimacy. If they help um, Canadian government, then perhaps certain amount of aid or certain economic um, sanctions that are given could be eased. But Ottawa says it won't officially engage with the Taliban unless Canadians and Afghans are first granted safe passage here. Rafi Bujikani on CBC News, Ottawa.